So in this tutorial, we are going to be able to change the cursor depending on what we are hovering over. So here we have a quest giver. Here we have something to loot. And here we have the enemy. Uh, we will apply this function to our current uh, enemies. So we can see, oh, this is something to attack. Um, it's a fairly easy tutorial, but it's kind of important that we add it now. So when we work along, we can start to apply this. It's fairly easy to adapt and change, and I know we will change it later to work more smoothly, but this is, in general, uh, a fair point to start. First off, we're going to start getting the assets from the asset store. And let's see here, we will write cursor, cursor, like this, and nothing but something free. So let's see, we have... I probably use this one, yeah, this one, basic RPG cursors, and you will download it, and then you will open, open, ready for refresh, um, then you have the basic RPG cursor here, you can re-download it or import it, or just import it. And I will uncheck the demo. I will uncheck this one as well. So I only have 226. And I will import it. Oh, 56, sorry. And then we will start to make our regular cursor. So go into build settings, player. Oh, wait. We have to do something else, actually. We have to go into the cursors. And take all of these cursors, uh, Control A, so we mark them all, and put them as cursors like that. Apply. So now they are all cursors. And then we will go into build settings, player settings, and here we have default cursor. You can select one, you can write cursor, and I will have this one as default, so the cursor basic 2, like that. And what you see now is when you start the game, we now have this cursor instead. Okay, so that was the first part. We have uh, a new cursor that works. You can use it to click on the maps. So what we want now is to change depending on what we are targeted. So I will create a cube. And I will create a capsule and finally I will create a, a these three things. So this one will be enemy and the capsule will be NPC quest giver, quest giver, and this cube could be item. Okay, great. So all of these three objects have a collider on it. As you can see, a square collider and a capsule collider and a box collider. We want to set them all is trigger. So we want to trigger something when the mouse enters the areas in the objects. So when we have the objects here, we want it to trigger something when we go inside. For that, we will need two uh, scripts. And there's many ways to do this, but this is the way I chose to do it for now. So make a script called um, mouse cursor. Then let's open up mouse cursor. And let's see. So the way I did it was to start making it simple. So I will have a serialized field uh, called bool enemy uh, serialized field bool uh, quest giver and serialized field bool um, object to pick. Like that. 
Uh, I think later in the tutorial I will make them public, but for now let's do it like this. Uh, then we also want to have a public bool enter, or you can actually call it, uh, yeah, just call it enter. I didn't find any better names. And set it equal to false. Then we want a public vector2 called hotspot mouse equal to vector. 2.0 that and then we want a public game manager oh wait let's wait with that one uh, at game manager so these are the things we need and we are going to make two functions one will be public void on mouse over like that and we're gonna make another one called public void on mouse exit like that and we can start with the exit one and set that enter equals to false and cursor dot set cursor should be um, actually let's wait on that also um but, 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 let's just make the game manager so the you could make all of this inside the function but i found out that then you every time you have to change the icons of the cursors on every object that would take a lot of time so let's make a game manager like that and add a script to it call it game manager like that let's open up our new script which is called game manager and inside game manager we will have the reference to all the images so let's say public texture texture 2d and we will have one that will be called cursor regular so this will be our normal one and we will have a texture 2d cursor enemy and we will have public texture 2d to the cursor quest give up it's fairly easy to add more onto this and then we will have a public distance public float distance and set that equal to uh, 75 like that i will come in later on what why we're adding a distance so this is just a reference to some image and a distance so inside when it's compiling we will add the images so this one was cursor basic i use this one and i'll use cursor enemy cursor attack this one and for quest giver i will use cursor book this one so it's up to you what you use so now we have a game object called game manager with a script called game manager. So let's go back to our mouse cursor script and say, okay, we also need a reference to the game manager. So let's see public game manager, call it game manager. And what we're gonna do is you could uh, add here find game manager, but I'm currently not gonna do it because we're gonna have so many objects that will do it. So I need to find like a better way to do it for now. But so I do it manually currently. But let's say okay. So uh, if uh, the bool enemy is equal to true, so let's say that. We have set this bool to true. What should happen then? Well, then we will change the cursor to set cursor game manager dot cursor enemy and use the hotspot mouse and cursor mode auto. And if we have set it to quest giver is equal to true, then Gonna do all of this and set the cursor to Quest Giver. 
and oh yeah I actually forgot one uh, let's just make the last one if object to pick up is equal to true then this one go back to the game manager make a public public texture to the cursor object and go back change this one to cursor cursor object and down here when we exit we want to put the cursor back to this normal one so we say cursor dot set cursor uh, game manager dot cursor regular hot spot mouse cursor mode auto that um, you might be wondering what hotspot mouse is is the area of the mouse that it will trigger on so as you can see on this white mouse I have here you can see there's a pointy part but you can also say it should be in the middle depending on what your icon is uh, so right now uh, if any one of these is true and we hold the mouse over it will uh, change um, but let's we can actually test it so see we have the item we can add the mouse cursor here and set the item is object to pick up we take the mouse cursor here I said this is a quest giver and finally we can set the mouse cursor here and set this is a enemy finally we need to add the game manager to all of them this and let's see we need to do this one cursor loot and when we start the game, click here, we have our regular mouse, but when we go over this, this is the enemy, this is the quest giver, and this is the item we can pick up. So mainly it's actually working already uh, as we want, but the thing I don't like about this is, let's run a bit far away, is that it works no matter how, how the distance is so you can change that uh, if you want it kind of depends how it can be a little bit tricky to get but yeah let's see there we go uh, I'm just gonna see something really quick if the player settings is set to zero, zero okay it's great you can change these hotspots this area where you click but um, what I want to do is so depending on how close you are it will change so you cannot be like uh, standing all the way down here and hover over and see oh there's something to pick up so you need to be within a certain area for that so let's change that so what I want to do is I want uh, to make a new function void target within within range like that and we're gonna say vector tree center is equal to new vector tree this transform dot position x dot this transform like this so we take the transform of the object enemy or quest giver and get uh, get this call that for center and then we will from that find the colliders in which is nearby and we're going to call it hit uh, colliders is equal to physics dot or lap and we're going to do it from the center and you're going to take the game manager dot distance so this is for how far away it will be possible to hover over and change the icon 
and now we're storing all the things we hit and let's say while i is less than hit collider the length so if we don't have anything uh, that is within range we will say if hit colliders i and let's just transform that tag is equal to player so if we hit something uh, a collider which have the what is called the tag called player so if there's a player nearby uh, enter will become true and you say i plus plus so when enter becomes true we can say if enter equals true then you can do all of this but else it won't happen so it will only happen when the player is within range the enter becomes true and this is possible finally we need to take this function and put it into the update like that and I just kind of experimented with this and this is the way I made it like it but you can change it on how you want it so maybe some objects you would actually like it's possible always to hover over but for now I want it like this so you can see it's still changing but if I run far away like that it will not I guess I'm not far away enough Let's see should I make this there we go now you cannot like that hover over them and see them I think mainly what you could use this for is for when you want to make it possible to see people if they can tag or you don't want it to glitch out when it's too many objects nearby so lastly you can take the your goblin here and you can add our mouse cursor function to it and say it's an enemy and we can go up here and we can not here yeah all right say i want this one to be applied to all so to the prefab like that and let's see if it got the game manager so that's the the only part we need to put on every time that's why we maybe want to make a find game manager function so now this one also is working or should be so now you can see this is an enemy when you hover over them great and you could do the same with this one